So we got a call for an aircraft, a Cessna 150, is that right? Yes. So it's up there on the mountain. And look at the size of this crew. We've got the usuals. And then we've got the unusuals. <laughs> Oh, there's a usual right there. Where's the where's George? So you guys remember George from this little video. What happened? Um the water was deeper than I anticipated. <laughs> Today, George is pulling us out of hot water. We pulled you out of cold water. You're Very gonna pull us water. You're gonna pull us out of hot water because we don't have a drone pilot today. George has agreed to come fly a drone. And I dress like man. What does the bleeping crew have to say? Well, we got a little sleep last night. I got some sleep in the truck. Colt didn't know. He had to keep George awake the whole time. <laughs> All right, so this is John, and it was your brother that put the plane down up there. Is that right? Yes. All right. And he's okay. He's okay. He walked out, made a phone call. And you guys remember Johnny Boy, maybe, from the Toyota Toyota. So we got a parking brake on the back, but the front will be able to roll. But he's my pilot buddy that I sent up there to look at the plane. He got me pictures. I'll show you those. Good morning, everybody. Matt gave me a call last night about a recovery up in the Sheep Rock Mountains. I'm just going to scout it out and see what it's going to take. There's not a lot of roads in the area, so it's going to be a little bit challenging. That's a pretty nice two-point buck. All right, driven as far as I can go. It's on foot from here. It's still about a mile from the airplane. There's another nice little buck. I've been walking around for a while here, and here's what I've discovered. There's a road. It comes from up over the top of that hill there, and it goes to a water trough that's down there for cattle. Another decent-sized buck right over there. And then the trail continues up. There's two ways to go. One is across the side hill of that mountain up there, over that low pass, that's where the airplane is. And the other is to swing just to the right and go right up over the top of the mountain. Well, I've arrived. I just came from over that mountain back there. And uh, here it is. It's uh, It was upright a week or two ago. There was some heavy winds that flipped it upside down. Uh, nose wheel's missing. You can see the propellers hit some rocks. It's bent up pretty good. This wing is bunched up pretty bad. Elevator still moves. Probably the first step is going to be to pull the wings off. There's another nice buck. Got a weather report for us, Ed? Yeah, it's nice and clear. No clouds. Uh... Sun's coming up, uh, no wind. It's about, what, 35? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, we'll get them out. So just like a mile over here, there's a big parking lot, and that's probably take the place us, to unload. Take so. us there. I'm a little bit colder than I thought it'd be. It is 36 degrees, so it's above freezing. And with the sun coming up, it should warm up quite a bit more. I hope so. Woo! Where'd you get that? Hey, I got one of those uh, that's what we were supposed to do there. Yeah. <laughs> are we are we unloading the more bear? Yeah. Okay. Woo! So I think it's gonna go fairly simple. I know we haven't done an airplane before. But I know we, my dad assembled the right team. We've got three airplane pilots here that are all very, all seemingly familiar with this plane. And uh, we're getting the wings off of it, get it loaded on the trailer, and drive it out.
Hand in, hand in. Thing up front there that's stoutish. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. You want more wind? Yep. Suck it in. Keep going. Keep going. Hold on. You doing all right? All right. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. All right. Suck it in a little. Okay, yep. By the way, is that your first roll? Second. Second roll. First one. Like, first like, one was just on the left side. That's the first time it's been completely over. Cool. So you had a flop, and now you got a roll. Yeah. It's like being part of the over the handlebar club on a dirt bike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've done that too. Yeah. <laughs> So there was the rollover and now we've got to back this rig up this trail and the way things are working out it is not easy. You're looking okay. And no, you couldn't do this in your minivan. If you can, turn a little passenger. That's going to spit. You don't have a rock to stop you. How are you feeling about this, Matt? Uh, not too good. If you look out this window, this is my view here. I just see a thousand foot of nothingness over there. <laughs> put it forward again now, Matt. So what's the route we're taking? Well, we got to get down to the bottom there, and then it's up the other mountain, over the top, down into the low point over there. The weather the day my brother was flying up here was uh, not forecast to be as windy as it was. He was at 9,300 feet and crashed at eight, just over 8,000. He just didn't have enough power to outclimb the wind. Yeah, yeah. That's the water trough we've got to get yeah. to. Okay, let's get to it. So Ed, when you said they rolled, I thought you were joking. I thought you were talking about the black Jeep. Oh, yeah, look at that rock was there. All right, well, we're halfway there, right, Johnny? Halfway, maybe. It's over there somewhere, huh? Yeah. Okay, Johnny's gonna keep telling us where to go. Right, the wind blew it over. What did you do, Lily? Really? <laughs> is this the first time you've flown a plane? I am like super disoriented right now. <laughs> like, That's what causes plane crashes. Let's get some tools. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's ready to derby at least. <laughs> See if I can use the wrong tool for the job. Johnny was thinking this has never been a part since it was put together the first time. We need a wrench on the other side. 
Yeah, it's still pinching him. This body has to be picked well, up. What if we do like he said, just put door. the winch on this side to Once kind of pull it up. So do the first one, we can do that. And then these wires, we can just snip them. That's what we're This should come out now. There we go. close to this plane all day. <laughs> Go around, around it. Hey, 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 we're yeah, there. I got a little bit, but not a whole lot of face there. Okay. There I'm it comes. Pumping, though, that's what I'm saying. Hold on. What are you doing under here, man? Look I'm at trying you. to help you. Look at him. I'm trying to help him. Not, well, no, he wasn't holding it oh, up. Oh, I was too. Ago. He wasn't holding it up a second ago, only until I put the camera on it. I'm helping you, Rudy. Okay, you can do it. Ah! I think we're at the end tickle, of tickle, tickle. <laughs> That's about all you're gonna get. Yeah. Alright, help, help him down. Close yeah, the door. right here. See how there's all that weight on the windshield? Yeah. That's what I don't like. Is it the same bolt problem as the other side? Yeah. Where do you want this one cut? Just to this wheel? I guess this wheel will work. This wheel will work. Just So here's the deal. If we leave the if we leave it on the Jeep, the Jeep's just more a little more nimble. Yeah. And use this as the anchor. This isn't a fantastic anchor, but you're using neutral and stuff, right? Yeah. And it'll do reverse if, yeah. in really technical stuff. Let's just do that. Let's just leave you in this rig and leave you as the anchor. Sounds good to me. So Lizzie has got an appointment she's got to be to. And this is taking longer. Well, we knew it was going to take long. We knew this was a chance. There was a chance this was going to happen. But she's walking off this mountain. Down there. To that main road. <laughs> Good luck, Lizzie. Thanks. You got water? Yeah. Or are you just going to dig your own trench and find it? Lizzie's no dummy. Uh -huh. Oh, I know that.
go around it. Oh. I'll get it. I'll dodge it. We're good. Okay. Okay, did you get all the tools put away? Well, I'm sorry, Rudy. tight squeeze. Now we just have to go over a bunch of mountain passes off camber and over rocks. What could go wrong? I just got a text from Lizzie. She made it. Woohoo! sent me that picture said I made it nice nice believe that if you hadn't seen it <laughs> unbelievable all right like I said I pulled George out of cold water he's pulling me out of hot water he brought his <laughs> truck up here he's like my truck will haul that plane on the highway and I'm going with George to drop it off we got it out <laughs> that was a job that defying trip yeah that one was special wasn't it <laughs> All right, well, we got that plane dropped off. Everybody else kind of bugged out already. This is the only ones left. <laughs> well, thanks for coming along with us on that. Thanks for watching. So just a quick reminder, if you would like to help with the Shop with a Cop Christmas program, the patches are available online at mattsoffroadrecovery.com. Thank you so much. This means a lot to these kids and their families.